remember telling myself when I was 20 or even 19, this is what this is what I want to do. It's it's to do with creativity. I'm not sure exactly what. It could be to do with illustration, words, a mixture of the both or something. Just ideas. I just loved ideas and I wanted to be able to get by in life, to buy myself enough time to, to make more. And so I'm 48 now and so I, I made that decision 28, nearly 30 years ago. And it's taken me 28 years to, <laughs> to finally get to a place where, okay, I'm, I'm earning what would be a slightly below average income in Australia, which I, I can't believe that. Was it worth following a dream for 28 years? I, I don't know. Yes, it, yes and no. Um, I, I, for me, I, I did never felt like it was a choice. A, a lot of, a lot of people in life make, make choices, but I, I felt like none of my life was ever a choice. It is either, I, I I've, there was no either is that I couldn't not do it and I honestly never knew if I'd ever do it but I knew that I'd I'd die trying <laughs> that's kind of fucking stupid people do PhDs over seven years so I, I don't know you can't really measure these things but 28 years to to get to a point where I'm independently publishing my shit outside gatekeepers and the only gatekeeper is the one in my head the self-censorship, which I I have to fucking battle with every day to make sure I'm still saying real things. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a small miracle. And I've noticed over years my ideas got better. Like I I I was probably funnier in my twenties and even thirties, and then I got a bit more serious and life happens and. You take on more experience, you notice the patterns of things, and and finally I start I started to feel like I had something real to say into my late thirties, early forties. That's when I'd lived enough patterns of life to, to recognise the shit that goes down and I could say stuff with more conviction because you experience shit. It's kinda of like the same way you might drive around and if some car cuts in front of you or does something crazy You'll profile them, you'll look at them, and you'll store that in your little um, safe, safety bank of profiles, and you, and you accumulate all these, all these almost like police sketch identity pictures of people and what they do and how they do things. Almost feel like a, a pro, like a criminal profiler of the human race, but also a, a heart profiler as well that I've noticed the beaut the beautiful stuff as well. I noticed a lot of people who go to art school, they end up giving up their art by around the time they're 30 or 35 because then real life stuff happens, families. The, the, the choice of trying to get a, a real job um, to support the, the new lifestyle of being a fully blown adult. And it's interesting that it's around this time, 30 to 35, because you, you kind of start to gain a wisdom that's that's kind of quite clear at a, in your late into your late 30s early 40s and a lot of editors I've noticed have said over time that a lot of writers come into their own at, at around their their early 40s and that's usually 5 years after most people have given up on their on that sort of art dream because of all the the interesting and beautiful life things that and possibilities that happen in your mid thirties. So it's all it's almost like a massive wall, that thirty five to forty, where if if you just keep pushing for an extra five years, um you'll you'll gain this interesting wisdom to be able to come up with this crazy, interesting, weird shit that you did not have just only five years before that. And I don't know what it is about your sort of late thirties, early forties. But that's also the time most people have had kids and they're distracted um, by that age. And so that, that doesn't happen. Or if it does, it's just far more difficult. But yeah, 35 to 42 is, a, is, is an interesting life airlock between the responsibilities of being a person and being an adult in the world and making art that's, that will resonate, that will truly resonate. But yeah, the last the last few weeks, the last four weeks, 
of this new book that I've made. It's sold 500, nearly 550 books in four weeks, which I, I can't, I can and I can't believe. Like it's, it's, it's kind of a, that's another small miracle, and I, I think I've I've muddled through nearly 10 books. I've written about 10 different books, and each one I thought was fucking excellent, was the best thing that I could do. And each time my ideas got it's prob- probably better. Some there were some some ideas that I had from my early books that I still I still loved, but this new book is like each one's a, I have to try and push it somehow. I have to experiment somehow. I have to try something different. There are one or two books in those ten books of poetry slash illustrations that I've written where I've gone. Oh, I haven't developed. I've really just continued on from the last book, and I'm and I'm doing another one of these. I, um, but I feel like I've finally arrived at something that that resonates. It resonates with me, and it resonates with an audience. That's kind of a sweet spot. I love the communi- I love com- that communication with the universal heart. That that that's what thrills me about this. But will it keep selling? I don't know. I have no idea, but it's so far it's it's a book that just won't it won't stop selling. Which yeah, that's that that spins me out after four f- going into we're going into the fifth week now. I normally the, over what I've noticed the patterns I've noticed is a book will sell, will jump out of the gate and sell pretty well, and after about three to four weeks it'll start slowing down. But this one seems to be um, speeding up. This is the first one of 10 books that I've written over a long period of time. Nine of them self-published, one through a traditional publisher. And this one's a self-published one. And yeah, it's 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 like I wasn't... It's it's weird because some of the other, the older books that I thought that I that I pub- self-published, I thought, oh, this, this, pro- this one will probably resonate a lot more than others. And it hasn't. And you just never know. Each one almost feels like a little self-made raffle ticket that you've that you've made for yourself, with the odds in your slightly more in your favour. You just you just don't know. I, I love I love that about art. You think you've you think you can push buttons and pull levers, and and make things like make make something work, but you don't you don't know. Everything's everything's another guess. Here's another stab in the dark. If I had to post-rationalise why I think this book works, I've had some thoughts about it, and one of my thoughts was when I, in the ten years ago, when I was reading a lot of poetry, I'd walk into a bookstore, pull out a book, I'd flick through the pages. There'd be a lot of long poems in the book, and then there would be a short poem, just one, one or two short poems. So I'd I'd read those short poems almost like a welcome mat to the to the longer ones, and so, so I'd I'd measure. The work is it worth my time reading more by check reading those short poems first, and if they were good, then I'd I'd probably yeah graduate to reading trying out their longer poems, and often the longer poems sucked, <laughs> and so I thought ah, uh, so maybe because this new book it's basically a lot of short poems, like eighty percent of it is some of the shortest sweetest two two or three lines two or three lined ideas I tried to say a little I tried to say it's back the other way I tried to say a lot with a little and there's only a small handful of long poems in this book and so it's the first time I've written a book of tiny thoughts with an occasional long one and and that's maybe that's the reason why this book has in inverted commas worked and to make the book I had I basically stole a lot of my own old ideas and like I gutted old poems and found the best line, like the marrow of old poems, and and sp- and sprinkled it through the book. And so it was. A, it was this book is made up of about forty percent old old lines that I'd written that just wouldn't go away. That's always stuck with me, and about sixty percent new lines that I'd written over the last couple of years. So to write another one, like won't won't be an easy task because writing tiny lines is the hard, hardest thing to do. It's easy for me to write something that's long and waffle on. And a lot of those things have gone viral. But um, the short ones, the tiny ones are the hardest. And so to write another one of these books 
will take a lot longer than I think. I can't write something like that in a year. Maybe I maybe I can, but I know that it wouldn't be like it would just be it would be a B plus. It'd be a B plus book. So anyway, back to what I was talking about before. It, I I quit my last proper job um, nearly five years ago, and I've been working as hard as I can on basically making poetry, social media, posting it on social media and making it the tiniest living out of it. Like I was on, I was on fucking, I was just able to pay my rent and eat and buy myself time to write more. It's hard to be playful and adventurous when I've got one eye on my bank account and another eye on, on sunsets and fucking clouds it's 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 hard to be adventurous it's hard to be um who right like i just don't give a shit when when like i'm looking at my bank account all the time and going holy shit am i gonna i've got to i've got to fucking get back to a, a stupid job where i totally let someone leech off my brain to do some dumbass job and i've got no time to write this shit so i had to be like a duck and paddle as hard as I can and look look like I was gliding smooth on the surface. But yeah, it's been it's been a weird 28 years to basically get get to, to here and and I almost feel like I just I don't even have time to stop to to take in the view of going, "Hey, you've just fulfilled a 28 year dream." Uh, at the moment, I feel like it's getting faster and faster and speeding up and th- there's more demands from it all of a sudden it's like you finish one you finish sprinting one marathon and now it's time to start sprinting in the next which is fucking weird it's what i love doing i should have had on my resume 28 years ago doesn't work well with others took me a long time to work that out and i'm so glad i was able to just just go alone and do my own thing muddle through and write my own bullshit and people actually respond and resonate to it and give up their hard-earned money for my my bullshit so i'm yeah i'm super thankful anyway if you'd like to leave a review for this episode or on spotify or apple that's yeah super helpful 